I think that God is like, you've got a wish list and he must fulfill that wish list. You can't demand things from God. Hi, my name is Rukhumudizoe Isis Khwele and I am a content creator as well as a pilot and this is my faith story. Why do I believe in God? Sure, it's a long journey, it's a long story. So my journey started off with obviously Christianity in normal households, well, majority of households. Um, your parents always take you to church, uh, but with the difference with me was that I went to church, to a church that they spoke in my native language or three native South African languages. And for me, I couldn't understand. As a young person, I couldn't understand or interpret the scriptures that were being told. So I personally then decided that, you know what, I would really love to hear or understand what are they talking about? Who is this God person that they're talking about? So I was uh, fortunate enough when I went to high school, I the high school that we attended had a SCA. So it's a Christian um, community of students during second break, we would go and attend the service. It was fun, it was, there was music, there was scriptures, there, there was more an understanding, a level of understanding, and that's literally what helped me draw closer to God. I then understood that you know God is a person that you could always speak to that you that was there for you and you just needed to pray and he would listen and um, that's how I basically started on my journey. It was good because we used to go on um, camps and those camps would help you um, just a five day course or a weekend course of just being so um, in tuned and hearing worship music and praise music and just you know loving being able to know that i'm in the presence of god and basically that's how it started um and then years went by and obviously being a teenager things happen and you lose track but then there was always that one person that constant being that was always there to help you uh, come back to life and that was god for me um no matter what i was feeling i was feeling down um i didn't know which direction i was going um i sometimes maybe felt alone and god was the constant present um i used to actually speak to myself but Actually, I was speaking to God all the time um, because I felt like he was my only friend. He was the only person who was there for me. So that's how I saw God and he was my confidant. Um, and, and that's what drew me closer to God. And that's how I, I, I sort of developed the Holy Spirit. And if someone was sick, I could speak over them and they would be healed. And I'd be like, wow, that works. <laughs> God actually listens to me. Um, so yes, that's how I started off. For me this always gets me emotional because it's it's for me the best thing ever god for me is my father he is our father and god is a parent for me i see him as a parent just like a parent he loves you and he wants the best for you and he will discipline you if you need <laughs> to be disciplined if you're doing something wrong and you're out of your way he will discipline you because i feel like people have this bad perception that god is this mighty um uh, God and he's going to be upset at you if you do something wrong and they have so much fear against God You should be fearful of God, but with respect not out of you know being scared he, when I think of God I'm not scared of him. I, there's just this warmth of feeling that I could always speak to someone He's all like I said He's always been there whenever I needed to speak to someone and he always listens and I always felt like he is listening to me um, he's a constant presence. He, I can feel his presence every single time. He's here with me. So he's a father, he's a parent, he's a friend whenever I need a friend. For me, that's who God is because he will never leave me or abandon me. And that's what I love about God. I think it's more of, you know, when you are just, when too many things are happening in your life or you feel like, you know what, everything's not going right. Um, that's when I felt a bit of disconnection with God because I felt like I had a prophetic, you know, um, talent in me where I could actually, oh, I had dreams, I could dream dreams. And next moment I lost that touch because of whatever I requested in prayer didn't um, come to flourishman. So that's why, that's what I think that that's when the period in my life where I lost the connection with God. But then 
for some reason I came back to it after like maybe a year or so and I just depended on God and I always just for me my my connection with God is always just talking no matter what just speak it's all in the tongue if you speak to God he is going to listen to you but sometimes people they think that God is like You've got a wish list and he must fulfill that wish list. You can't demand things from God. He is not like that. God is someone that you just come to and according to, like I said, he's a parent. He'll say, okay, um, I think you don't need this right now, but you will get it in the future. So you just have to be patient with me. So we just need to understand that he, he loves us and he knows the perfect time to when he wants to give you something. Importantly, God is love. He loves you. The perfect love story is with God. And that's my personal feeling. Um, I want you guys to understand that no matter what, because of Jesus Christ, God loves you. And um, he wants the best for you. We as humans, yes, we always say we are human, things happen and stuff like that. But we just need to understand that irrespective, he just wants the best for you. You, my desire is to go into heaven and just knowing that God wants me to be there already, that fills my heart. So you just need to understand that, stop complicating your life. Stop trying to perceive God in ways that is not true. If you want the truth, take your time, read your Bible and stop interpreting the Bible to fit your ideas. It's not like that. If you, if you find that you are lost, find help, seek help. There's so many um, pastors online that I watch. Um, there's so many rumors of Christianity that, oh, Christian people are like this. They think they're better than other people. Oh, I don't believe in this pastor because of whatever or I don't um, believe in Christianity because there's so many fake pastors out there it doesn't matter it's not about the people here on earth it's about who lives within them it's about the God that lives within you and if you can walk through life knowing that you know what this is who I'm aiming for no matter I'm not perfect we are imperfectly perfect but the perfect person is within us so walk with God on a daily basis speak to him praise worship you know spend time like Literally, it's like a relationship. Don't you want to spend time with your friends, with your family members? It's the same thing. God just wants time with you. Wake up in the morning if you if you love the quietness in the morning and just spend time with God um, in your car, praise and worship, you know, go to church. And it's currently difficult because of the pandemic, but, and, and a lot of people are losing their faith. And it's not about the feeling. It's about knowing that, you know what, no matter what, God is walking with me throughout this whole journey um i always say you're gonna walk through the valley because god is always with you but it doesn't mean that you are not going to experience um, difficulty in your life and you just need to hold uh, christ's garment just the small part of it and just walk with him and he will lead and direct your path Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Faith Stories. The verse I want to share with you guys today is from the very famous Psalm 23. And I am going to be reading from, actually, I'm going to read the whole thing. Actually, something different because this, this Psalm is so, I know we read it a lot, we hear it a lot, but it is so meaningful. It is such a personal prayer, as Rehu said, way. It is one of those prayers where you're just speaking to God for yourself and letting him know that I would trust you, I wait on you, I rely on you, and I know that everything I need is within you. And not only that, but you are there with me all the time, no matter where I am, good or bad. So let's take it from the top. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. One last thing I want to share about uh, this particular part of the Bible is that it also acknowledges that life is not always going to be right, fair and easy. It talks about the value of the shadow of death. That sounds like a very hard place to be in, guys. And it's saying even when you're backed up against a corner and it feels like you're walking in the path of death, that God, who is light and love and life, is there with you. It is letting you know that there will be enemies because he will prepare a table for he will prepare a place for you in the presence of your enemy a table for you in the presence of your enemies meaning you will have enemies you will have to confront them or you may be you may have situations of conflict but even in those times god is there for you he anoints your head with oil do you know what anointing does anointing breaks every yoke guys so anyway i don't want to okay, okay i don't want to go too much into it but i just want you guys to know that this right here is a true personal prayer um and i hope that you guys are inspired by this story if you have your own personal faith story please feel free to share it down in the comments but until next time that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys